Hi guys, so I was thinking this morning about videos that I could do and I started thinking that when I first started this channel one of the earlier videos I remember doing was a top 10 lip products video and I started trying to make a list for an updated version of that and then I thought why don't you just do a whole series of top 10s? So today I'm going to show my top 10 favourite accessories. Some of these you can still get, some you can't. Um, I'm going to try and put links down below for the ones that you can get or for items that are very similar. Okay, so I'm going to start with the um, bigger items and work my way down. So the biggest item is my current handbag. Um, this is a Paul's Boutique handbag. It's very slouchy. It's got a bag charm on it. It's got these rings that are good if you want to add anything extra. Tie a scarf on if you feel that you want it to be more detailed than just the studding. Inside it's one giant pocket. Um, one little zip pocket on the side and two of these kind of mobile phone type pockets that I have perfume in because I tend to keep my mobile in my pocket rather than in my bag. So I found that in TK Maxx, I think it was about £33. Um, it's the first time I've ever really wanted a Paul's Boutique bag because generally I either don't like the style of them or I like the style but the material seems very cheap and plasticky and I, I don't want it. So the next item is also a bag and I bought this just before Christmas. This is actually from eBay. Um, all I typed in was chain handle quilted bag and I found this and it's got the part leather on the strap. You can, if you do it the right way, you can shorten the strap and have it just as a, sh you know, a shoulder bag or you can wear it across body with a full length strap. It's got the twist catch on the front. This actually feels good and the material looks good. I don't think it looks um, plasticky. Um, I've got some lip products in here. Inside you've got the little pockets on the front. You've got a zip pocket here but also there's a kind of just a slide in pocket behind it and the bigger compartment to the bag. The US is a little bit bigger simply because my wallet is a ridiculous size but I still really like it for days when I'm not carrying very much with me and this was 19.99. there's various colours and I'm going to leave a link for that down below because I think this is a, a good buy. So next item is slightly a general category. I'm obsessed with like this style of hat, like the you know floppy, loose knit, beret style wear on the back of your head like that hat. I have loads of these. Um, this one again, TK Maxx, believe, yeah, it's from Steve Madden and I just really like it. It's black, it's got multicolour glitter in it. Um, Mac has a nail varnish called Everything That Glitters and this matches it because it's black with multicoloured sparkles in it. Um, but I just like these hats, they're really comfy. They look better with my hair down to be honest than partly up, but I have quite a few of these in various colours so yeah. Um, next item is a pair of sunglasses. Okay, I have a really strange addiction to sunglasses and in case the accent hasn't given it away, I live in Scotland. We are not famous for our sunshine. Okay, but nevertheless I have an addiction to sunglasses. I feel like I suit them, um, I can pretend that they're they're good for my health because they're protecting my eyes and skin around from the sun. I tend to go for bigger styles so that they do protect as much of the skin around my eyes as possible because let's face it, when you're putting some cream on you're not slathering it around your eyes and you know, you, yeah. So the latest pair I've got are also from TK Maxx, <laughs> sorry. Um, I keep picking up designer sunglasses in TK Maxx when I see them at a good price, I really like them. And this current or recent pair is by Dior. They're red and they're leopard print and I just think they're fantastic. Um, these were actually £70 which is quite a lot to spend on sunglasses but they were reduced from 162 and I haven't bought any makeup since November so I decided I was buying them because clearly I've saved a fortune by not being buying makeup since November. Uh, but then my mom insisted on buying them for me so I really like them. Um, TK Maxx is annoying because you can't always get a case for the sunglasses. There were cases. The only one I could find that could fit was this place one, which I actually like because it's quite structured and it has a little loop that you can clip it onto places. So I just took that one since I couldn't find 
the proper Dior one and most of the other cases didn't fit these because they are quite large. So next item again, a bit of a general category but I've got um, one particular favourite down. Head scarves. Love these, or just scarves in general, smaller ones. As I said, I can tie them onto a bag if I want to give it a bit of extra rouge. Um, I often use them as just like a, a headband, tie it either that way round or you know, kind of this way around if you don't want the knot visible. Um, there's also some really cute hair cells you can use to put your hair up with these. This is from the MAC Faffy collection, it just has the Free Faffy Girls designed by Faffy, who's a French graffiti artist. I picked mine up on eBay, I'm not sure if they're still about on eBay or not, and I can't remember how much I paid for it. So, next item, also hair related and also from eBay, um, it's actually these two hair combs. Uh, as you can see, they're clear, clear plastic, so they don't really show up in your hair. Annoyingly, the spikes are fixed on the screws and they do catch my hair sometimes. Um, but I've got one with longer spikes and one with shorter spikes. And I just like that these add a bit of a an edge to a hair style. I wouldn't normally just shove it in like that. I just kind of wanted to show how easy they are to use. It's more if I've got like a kind of a bun or a beehive type thing on top. You can give yourself like a wee kind of crown in front of it. I definitely only really use these for nights out but I think they're fantastic. Um, I had a quick look on eBay and I couldn't, f on my phone and I couldn't find them. Um, I did get them quite a few years ago. I'm going to see if I can find something similar to link down below and also to give the price. I don't think I paid more than about £6 for the pair of these but I could be totally wrong. So the next couple of items are jewellery um, and some of them are quite expensive and some are probably not available anymore. But my favourite ring is this Vivian Westwood double finger love ring. I got this on sale, um, not Christmas the year but the Christmas before and I just think this is a, a fantastic piece. Um, there's other double finger rings with orbs that just got out just now that are just as fantastic in statement um, in silver and gold and I just like these. Um, again, I don't really wear it day to day. Um, tends to be more in nights out. It does slightly limit what you can do with these fingers because I can't do that because they're joined together. But yeah, I love it. I think I paid 50 something pounds for that, which is a bit drastic for a ring, but can it count as two rings and then I paid 20 something pounds per ring? Let's try that excuse. Um, next item, also Vivian Westwood. I'm sorry, I'm obsessed. Um, this is a watch, which I honestly I find quite awkward to tell the time on, uh, but I just think it's such a unique piece. So the watch itself is in this kind of like heart locket that's got like a kind of enamel finish on it that's kind of textured, has the orb on the back, a little ribbon above it with the diamantes, chain bracelet, and then for making the bracelet shorter, you've actually got a safety pin, which again, encrusted with the diamantes, and it's quite stiff which is good so you just take the pin loop it through another link of chain close it and then it's shortened because it's cut off a chunk of the chain and last but not least for detail in this there is a diamante skull and cross ones and I love this I think these are still available there's a few different designs that are kind of similar to this in different colours um, but I'll put some links below um, favourite ever necklace that I wear constantly goes with everything is my Anna Lou of London Key to Wonderland necklace. I think this was £20 when I bought it. Um, this seems to appear and vanish and reappear sometimes on their website so it's kind of hit or miss whether or not you'll get it. But I have a slight obsession with keys as accessories. I just think they look really cool and I, I don't know why. I've got earrings with keys, I've got necklaces, I've got rings, I've got bracelets. It's, it's a thing. Yeah, so the last item is Again, kind of expensive, which I feel bad about, but these are my favourites and it's the way it is. Um, it's a Thomas Sabo Charm Club Charm Bracelet. I got this for my 21st. Um, all the charms on it so far have been present since then. I'm now 27, so I have been building this up for quite a while, basically. Um, let's try and go through some of these charms. So the Yin Yang uh, was from my parents as was the kind of um, Horn of Plenty. 
when I when I first got this. Um, the set of three wee keys, which is adorable. My boyfriend just got me this Christmas. The anchor with the love heart on it. My boyfriend also got me this Christmas. He's in the merchant navy, so that you know, I think that one's quite sweet. Um, I have a sapphire for my birthstone. That was my aunt. Um, I have a black flower, which my brother got me. When I first got this, I wanted everybody to get me a charm that symbolised them and I was expecting my brother to buy me a flying pig and he bought me a flower so I think he missed the point slightly. Um, I have a little cross with kind of black Julie Marcusite finish on it, slightly gothic and that's from my granny. Um, this is just the catch for the end of it but I have to wear it a bit shorter. I have a graduation cap which stunningly enough it was bought from a graduation and I also have a little tiny car which my aunt bought me when I passed my driving test. So um, I, I like this partly because it's cute and partly because of, you know, a, a lot of the charms do mean something to me. Um, particularly, obviously, the graduation one in the car is pretty obvious. Um, the car is even more special to me because my aunt actually died, um, not Christmas Day, but Christmas before. Um, yeah, and obviously the the anchor and the love heart, I just I'm sentimental and I like it and I like that it's so so fitting to what he does and things like that. Um, so that is that. Um, as I said, I have a couple more of these planned. Top 10 shoes, top 10 eye products, top 10 lip products, which I will get up shortly. Um, all the links I mentioned will be down below, along with a link to my Twitter if you want to come follow me on there for a random kind of updates, um, kind of idea of what's coming up next in videos, nails of the day, um, just stuff. Um, so I will talk to you guys later and I hope you're having a good day. Bye.